Good evening, Nick the Forster here. Um, got a little time to get out and shop this this evening. Uh, work on some things. Um, did a little cutting earlier today. Y'all see that in some videos. Uh, some saws cut good. Others actually gave a little bit of trouble. Um, well, Y'all uh, had to check out those videos to see which ones did good and which ones didn't. Uh, also, I was kind of shocked on one. Um, but out of their equipment they're man-made there's always ain't nothing man-made that's ever been perfect um then power saws especially older power saws uh chainsaws they ain't no different um they've all got the quirks and they typically ain't getting run every day and they typically have problems and i guess uh it's a good reason i enjoy uh working on because typically might have problems um just from Honestly, probably not getting used enough. Um, just setting up. Uh, and most of mine, uh, unless uh, it had an air leak to start with, I didn't replace this uh, the seals in them because if it was running good before I got it, I wasn't going to tear it down to, uh, to fix the issue that uh, wasn't there at the time. And now some of them are having issues that are popping up. But... Quit jabbering on um, on the 510 build. I know it's been weeks and weeks and weeks since we started that thing. Um, I got to go down to the hardware store to get a couple more pieces for that decompression valve, DSP valve. And I think I'm going to have something that'll, that'll work with that saw. Um, and then we're going to slap that bad boy back together and put it in some wood and see what it'll do. Uh, hopefully no air leaks, but we will see. Um, and we're also going to see if that... Uh, we can get that McCulloch uh, Bullfrog Carb to work as well. But, that's for another video. Um, topic of today's video is the Homai XP 1000. Sorry, I think in another video I called it a 1020. It is a 10, oh, XP 1000. Y'all saw I made this bar off of John Shred fit onto this by uh, uh, filing out the uh, actually dremeling out the uh, adjuster hole and the uh, oiler hole well there is one problem with this bar and there's a good showing of it right here now, let me see if I can turn it a little bit so y'all get a better example of it so, let me know if y'all spot an issue with this bar when I turn this chain Can y'all see it? It's actually got a pinch right here. That's what's holding it up. If I slide this bar back, pull this, see how it popped off like that, popped off like that, right there. We got a pinch in this bar from about, about the center line down to this working corner. At some point, whoever had this all before got it pinched up um, doing something or another and I was actually pinched all the way back here but I started working on it earlier and I figured I'd show uh, how I work with pin bars that the rails have been pinched on and uh, what I do there's a couple ways you can go about it you can take a uh, small flat file and work up and down your uh, pent spots and take out material. Uh, you could use a uh, Dremel with a cutting wheel, do it that way to take out material. You can use a uh, die grinder with a cutting blade, take out material, a thin cutting blade. Or you can do what I typically do because I don't like taking out material out of the rails because most of my bars I use are used to start with and wore out at best so i don't want to take any more material out and have the uh the uh rails start chipping or breaking um what i typically do is sp manually spread them back out and i've already done this to a couple spots on this bar so i don't mind showing you some more um but you can see so i laid this chain on here fits good down through here I mean, it falls into place, falls into place, falls into place, falls into place. Doesn't want to right here on the tip. 
if I turn and show y'all. See how it don't want to lay in right there? You can force it. And then same with right here. It's, so it's about center line, just above center line, down to that working corner. And then it lays in nice on the bottom. So inevitably, somebody at one point got the end of this bar pinched. I've never run this bar. That's why I've never... Uh, I said it came on that Johnson Ridge I got at a junkyard. So, uh, and I really ain't fooled with that saw that much. Um, so that's why I didn't catch this earlier with this bar. If you visually look, you can tell going down the bar and coming around that it does get smaller where it got pinched. This is a hard nosed bar. Uh, but if you have a sprocket that's pinched, you probably won't be able to do this. Um, but all you're going to need, you need, uh, you can take a washer that's about the right gauge. You can take a screwdriver like I do, um, maybe a smaller chisel. Um, I don't think I got a washer. I might have one. one of these might work for it. Oh, they too thick. They probably work for a 63 gauge. Let me see if I got might have one in my pocket that'll work for it it rolls down this way pretty nice it's a little tight down through there right yeah she tightens up right here it does get a little tight right down through there opens up a little bit Tightens, or goes back down, tightens up, tightens up. It's a pretty good visual representation. See how it doesn't want to? As I roll it in, it'll start going down some, a little bit further. Hits another tight spot right there. Tight spot, tight spot. More tight spots and gets back. And I'll slide back down this half of the bar. But what you can do, which I'll probably do, is just use this instead of the screwdriver just for good visualization, is take that and a hammer and just work that down your bar. And it'll lightly spread it. Work it back down. Don't, don't be easy with it. Don't want to. And typically, the bigger wash you got, the better. This one ain't perfect. She's gotten real tight right there. Let's see. Just keep working her down. Come on. There we go. Yeah, she's spread. She's starting to work it back out. And if it doesn't work, you can use it screwdriver that's just a little bit bigger she's starting to she might might have to go with the screwdriver right there do take screwdriver pop it back out there we go i'll go back and test chain lay it back off in here lay it in nice right through there nice right there no no not too much side to side movement so it didn't spread it too far but now she lays in nice all the way through there and right about there yeah right about there that's where so I guess getting into the upper corner of the bar Instead of using the washer, I'll go ahead and start using the screwdriver. I'll tap it in. Give it a good tap. Get her down in there. Go a little bit further. And move it back out a little bit. Right there.
turn a little bit more. Sorry, let me back y'all up just a touch. There we go. Get it spread out. Go down. Keep working or working your way around. to the bottom I typically do is work it back and forth a little bit work it back out let's test it again got the chain I mean you're gonna have to test a couple different times to see now we're starting to starting to lay a little bit further still got one little pin spot right here I don't know all right, with my camera angles I have to work with, you don't get the best. Let me move y'all around a little bit. Yeah. You still see we pinched just a little bit right, right in here. But getting, getting much closer. So actually somewhat slide down now. Actually, yeah, she's she working halfway decent there. Try and line the bar back up. I said, now we can see we're starting to get a little bit, still catching on a couple drivers that are probably a little thick. To file those drivers down, but I'd rather not file the drivers down. They may have a little burr to them. So we'll pull it back out, go right back in here. Put a screwdriver. Too much. Let's give it a look there. That may just have it. There we go. I do believe that will work. Let me get it where the sprocket will slide again. We'll go ahead and pull the slack out of this chain. And there you go. That's how you spread the bar back open on a pinch bar. Now she's sliding like she's supposed to. She's a, maybe a little bit tight down here. I mean, just a little bit, but she'll wear in with some oil and that'll be about the end of that. And now you got another usable bar again. I said, doesn't really have much movement down here on the end. A little movement on the top probably tighten up the lower rails a little bit but for being a used bar if I can get this thing to not move there we go there you go Now she'll move. Now she'll roll. So, sorry. Um, hope y'all enjoyed that video. Hope y'all learned something. If you pinch your bar, it ain't. You can work it back out. You can make it a usable bar again. Um, um, I typically do not use heat because uh, heat will take the temper out of the bar. Then you will start. Uh, you will start uh, chipping your rails and. Uh, once you start chipping the rails, then you are going to have uh, some issues. You're going to have to uh, dress up the rails if it's if you can get them to true back up or uh, possibly having to buy a new bar. And uh, another recommendation is don't run a pinch bar and use the drivers to, uh, to open it back up because it could overheat the bar and you'll do the same thing as lose your, losing the temper out of the bar rails and uh, you'll start chipping uh, you'll probably start chipping rails again and uh, then it, the bar won't be usable but hope y'all enjoyed this video uh, if you don't mind like subscribe uh, tell your friends um, I'd like to uh, 
show more people, reach more people um, with my content. Uh, if you know anybody that this would be useful for, uh, give me a shout out. Love to hear anything y'all uh, have in the com or want to know in the comments. Um, anything you'd like to see on the channel, anything you'd like a little more information on. Uh, and other than that, I hope y'all have a great week week or weekend or week whichever this gets posted um i typically film my uh, videos in advance because um i don't get out here till sometimes 9 10 11 o'clock and i may get to spend an hour or two and then i typically don't have time to edit them what editing i can do and then post them in that same night um so hope y'all enjoyed the video um and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks, guys.